Boxing truth here. Manny Pacquiao has no prospective opponents after he whoops Jesse Vargas next Saturday. And it's disappointing. Where is the direction of Manny Pacquiao's career going to go once he defeats Jesse Vargas next Saturday and regains his old WO strap? Yeah, I'm very confident Manny Pacquiao is going to defeat Jesse Vargas. I just don't see him losing to that type of style. I watched him train, and I can already tell who's going to win. I just don't see Jesse having enough when it comes to his talent, his experience, to defeat a fighter like Manny Pacquiao. He's never fought a fighter like Manny Pacquiao before. He doesn't really do well against southpaw boxers as well either. He was clearly defeated by Khabib early in his career, but was able to get the decision. A decision, in my eyes, he didn't deserve. He was able to regain a regular strap at 140 pounds. And now, Pacquiao, there's no opponents out there for him following this fight against Jesse Vargas. If he wins, I mean, who's out there? All of a sudden, Garcia and Thurman are on collision course to unify. Seems like Heyman is doing his best to avoid any of his big-name clients to fight a top-ranked fighter in Manny Pacquiao. It's a shame. I will like Manny Pacquiao, before he retires for good, to be in a fight that that's intriguing in a fight that he's not heavily favored in, in a fight that a, a lot of the public will like to see. Him fighting Keith Thurman would really be an intriguing fight. Or at least fighting the winner of the Garcia-Thurman fight would be an intriguing fight for much of the boxing world. Not just the fans of Manny Pacquiao, but also his, his haters will definitely tune in to that fight. And it's a shame. We... Manny Pacquiao has been boxed out of the politics for a number of years. Heyman has been protecting his hype jobs from Manny Pacquiao for a long time, and he's, he's continuing to do it, unable to broker a fight between him and Adrian Broner. Of course, Aram has already stated it was because Broner priced himself out, but who knows? Going by the actions of Heyman, how come it's so difficult for one of his bigger name clients to make a deal with HBO fighters? But it's so easy for him to provide showcase fights for HBO fighters like Dominic Wade against Triple G and now John Molina for Terrence Crawford. Look how easy those fights were able to be made because those guys don't have much value when it comes to Al Heyman's stable. But when it comes to the bigger name clients, it's been a problem. So who can Manny Pacquiao fight? Pickings are slim in the welterweight division. Crawford's not willing to move up and wait just yet. He wants to become undisputed at 140 pounds in a worthless division that's not going to provide him much recognition or even big money fights. So Pacquiao is going to need a dance partner if he's going to continue his career. And the only logical opponent, well, he's retired, and that's Floyd Mayweather. Floyd Mayweather needs to come out of retirement so Manny Pacquiao could... Get the fight he's always, he's really wanted, is a rematch with Mayweather. And then he can retire in peace, knowing that he gave it his all in a rematch. He was 100% healthy. And if he, if he, if he doesn't give, get the decision this time around, he can just move on and be able to retire in peace. But Mayweather needs to come out of retirement and fight Manny Pacquiao again. Because that's the only opponent out there for Manny. When it comes to the landscape of the welterweight division, everyone's tied up. Errol Spence needs to earn his shot against Manny Pacquiao. Manny Pacquiao, he's too far to the top to see who Errol Spence He probably don't even know where Errol Spence is. He's a prospect coming up through the rankings. Just a contender, really a prospect that's on the verge of getting a title shot. At this stage of Manny's career, he's not going to fight no rated guys in, in, in the sanctioning body. He's not going to fight no prospects. He's in a position where he's only going to fight champions or big names. So now Aram is trying to 
see what's out there. So he's talking about prospective opponents, but it looks like imaginary fights from what I can see. Freddie Roach is drumming up interest for a Canelo fight, but Manny Pacquiao has already been on record that he's not going to fight at junior middleweight again. It's just too much weight for him. He got hurt real bad when he fought Margarito. Even though he beat the shit out of him, he took some shots in that and almost got dropped on a few occasions to the body. Got hurt bad at one point, especially in the sixth round of that fight. But he was able to suck up the pain and continue to dish out a beating on Margarito. So Manny Pacquiao has already stated that he's not going to move up to junior middleweight. And fight at that weight again. So the Canelo fight is not going to happen. It's a fight I would like to see. Be a very intriguing fight. Very dangerous fight for Manny Pacquiao. But with his style, his speed, his footwork, and his combinations and power. He could really give Canelo all he could handle. And possibly even win that fight. But Canelo may just be too big. Too strong. Just a very dangerous fight this stage of Manny Pacquiao's career so who else is out there Bob Arum's talking about Lomachenko but I wouldn't advise Manny to drop all the way to 35 just to fight Lomachenko it will be reminiscent of what De La Hoya did for him if if that fight were to happen I wouldn't even advise Pacquiao to drop to 140 for that fight to happen. It's it's too far-fetched for that fight. For that fight to be considered. Loma's just moved up to 130. There are still fights for him in in that weight class. There's also fights for him in the lightweight division. Even though Manny Pacquiao has been on record recently that he, he could make 135... By his actions, he hasn't really, he hasn't tried to squeeze down that weight or even try to fight at 140. He's been fighting at a weight that's more comfortable to him, and that's between the junior welterweight and welterweight divisions. But it's disappointing that there's really no perspective, intriguing perspective opponents for Pacquiao once he defeats Jesse Vargas next Saturday. So Aram needs to look towards the future. He really doesn't have much in his stable to provide opponents for Manny Pacquiao. No one wants to see a fourth Timothy Bradley fight, so no. No one even wanted to see the third fight. But man, the pickings are slim. You just hope Mayweather comes out of retirement and just says, fuck it, let's do the rematch, because that's the only fight out there for Manny. Manny's, he doesn't need to fight none of these young bucks, man. They're a different generation. Just do the rematch of Mayweather and retire. And if he wants to pass the torch and do what Oscar did by creating another star in the sport, then that's fine as well. Fight Mayweather in the rematch next sometime next year and then pass the torch to somebody. And Mayweather should do the same. And then people can move on for the Mayweather-Pacquiao era. This is Boxing Truth. I'm out.